In this particular section of the CCA 200 mini training video, we're going to look at building custom companies, but also custom reports. To start off, we need to go into the, by clicking on the file button, selecting company in the drop down menu. From here, we'll click the add button. For the company, we'll, we'll create, uh, we'll call it department of national defense. And from here, we'll click on OK. Once we click on OK, we can see that under our company listings now, we have Department of National Defense. Uh, now we can close out. So now from our regular working screen here, uh, we can see that under company, we have Department of National Defense selected. Uh, we don't have any records uh, under our audiograms, and we also don't have any subjects under total subjects. Um, in order to move back and forth between different companies when testing, we can easily just click on the drop down menu on the main screen here under company. Hit that drop down button. We can go back into tests, and then that'll bring back all our old data. So it's important that we also uh, look at the company to ensure that we're collecting the correct data and applying it to the correct company. So we'll scroll back over to the Department of National Defense once again by clicking the drop down menu. Perfect. So now we'll create some custom headers in order for us to sort the data. So under Assign Audiometer Subject, click on that button. Uh, and you'll notice here on the right-hand side, we have Location. We can right-click on the, or sorry, yes, right-click on the location. Under the Advanced Setting, we can now change the prompt if we wish to change that from location to division in this case. And now we can also add the different divisions now. So in this case, we can say med, medic, can also add biomed. So office. Once we're happy with that, we click on OK. And now you can see that we've updated that particular uh, delimiter as division now. And when we go to right click on division, it'll give us our three options of medic, biomed, and office. You can select one. Uh, and we have essentially three other boxes here that we can assign to different sort of um, settings, right? So for instance, not only division, we can Select the next box down, we'll click on advanced, and now we can create a prompt or hair color. Then we'll go to add, say black. Once we're happy we on OK, now we have a delimiter for hair color, which we can sort well. Uh, this is this will be important when we go to create our custom reports. It'll give us um, more power to sort through 
the um, data and it'll give us the ability to look at certain pieces of data. Um, and then from there, uh, we can enter in all the other subject IDs, for example. Um, once again, it is important that we enter in a birthday, two digits for month, two digits for day, then four digits for the year. Uh, sex is also important for age correction. Um, so that also has to be entered, either male or female in this case, uh, and the hiring date, uh, which is not compulsory. But for division, we'll put Semitic, hair color, we'll say red. And then we will go ahead and assign. And that is how we build custom headings or our custom reports that we can generate later on. 